Aveline Ma chérie, you were shouting again. Was it a nightmare? Oui, only a dream. I'm sorry to have woken you. Shh, ma chérie, shh. Never apologize. A mother worries, even a stepmother. Thank you, Madeleine. Maman, do you worry too? Did you forget me? Or are you gone? In any case, the night has better uses than sleep. <sighs> Aveline, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn, where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then do your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would... In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. Uh, what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman, a slave, badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. <sighs> I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch your new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. Aveline, late to lunch and looking ashen again. I fear you are not resting enough. Oh, Papa, I'll take my rest when this life is exhausted. You will hasten that end at this rate. I do fear you are more like your father than his feet for a lady. A chip of the same block. In passing, Monsieur Blanc requests your assistance at the warehouse. I dare say he has work to offer. Is that all he has to offer? I should think for all his attention, he would request your hand. All the same, it's the work that interests me. Philip. Oh, dear me. Oh, by the turn of this conversation, it would appear I have lingered too long at this table. If you'll excuse me. Good day, Papa. There, he is gone. I can tell you now, Aveline. I have taken care of everything. Your friend will be safe. If you have any more womanly problems, do not hesitate to see me. Evelyn, I am sorry for interrupting, but I need your assistance. It is urgent. Of course. I love you, Papa. <laughs> There is a slave, George. I promised him safe passage to the north, but during his escape he was discovered by soldiers. He hides, but... Please, is there anything you can do with your business booming and your contacts in the bayou? Oui. I will get him to safety. In utmost discretion. Madeleine! Aveline. I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry. But you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will. Only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. <sighs> Aveline! 
What a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Aveline, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Aveline, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window to the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter, you are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. A little late for that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? Ha! You kept them enslaved, on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Aveline, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see, your aims match mine. Join me, Aveline. Finish what you started. I have done as you asked. He is dead. And the disc? Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. To never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then I welcome you into our arms, sister. Together we shall usher in the dawn of a new world. One in which our hands will ensure that all things find their proper place. My daughter, you are one of us now. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. <laughs> It does not work! Why can't I understand? It cannot be. I refuse to believe it. All these wasted years, a lifetime of sacrifice and... We have all the pieces, I am certain of it. Unless... Why... You can blame Chichen Itza and De Ferrer, but I see through you. My daughter... No! <laughs> daughter? Only two people can call me that. You banished one and sacrificed the other. Foxglove! 
You killed my father with your care and your tonic. Why? Because he never truly loved you? And Jeanne? My mother? You stole her child, sent her away. You kept her enslaved even after my father had freed her. And now you attempt to return me to that fate. In the service of humanity. In work. The purpose for which you were created. We were created. The highest purpose. I will not serve you. No! 